but who isn't going to like chocolate chip cookies for Passover? Everybody. I really think good chocolate is important to the taste of chocolate chip cookies. I can't emphasize that enough. Either they should be like 70% chocolate. It doesn't have to be chocolate chips. I have these are really good chocolate in different sizes. And very often I would just like to break them up and put them in whatever chocolate. But whatever it is, make sure it's a good brand. And of course, if you want kosher for Passover, look at the brand for kosher for Passover. These are all kosher, but not necessarily kosher for, fast, for Passover. Um, the other thing is baking soda, you can use that at Passover. I did a story about this a few years ago for the New York Times, and I spoke to Hasidic rabbis who said, this is a chemical, it is not a leavening agent, I mean, it's not a fermenting agent, and you can use the baking soda. So the, that's one of the essential ingredients. Flour is an ingredient for, for Toll House cookies, which this is the exact Toll House cookie recipe, except for different kinds of chocolate and also Passover cake meal instead of flour. So they're gonna be a little bit different consistency, but in this particular Seder that I'm gonna be writing, that I'll be telling you about, they're absolutely delicious. If there's one Seder that I wish I had gone to in my life, it's this Seder. It's Cantor Jeff and his wife, Robin Shiovitz. They live in Briarcliff Manor, New York. And for the past 40 years, 30 years, excuse me, they have been doing a Seder in the tent in their basement. And this tent is decorated with frogs and other things that the children have made. They sit on the floor. They told me that as they get older, people are allowed to use small, uh, low cushions and uh, stools. Everybody dresses up as if they were really living in a tent. They have djembe and uh, guitars for music. They play games with food and they n incorporate food to encourage the children, to include the children, to make them not bored. Um, this is an organic Seder that has gone on and changed as the children grow and as, as the grown people get older. And of course, the food is a big, really important. But the most popular recipe of all is their Passover chocolate chip cookies, which we're making right now. Okay, let's get started. Um, the first thing is to mix the, the Passover cake mill, the baking soda, and some salt. Again, always salt. Set that aside. Put the butter in the KitchenAid with two kinds of sugar, regular sugar and brown sugar. So let's mix these together. Then again, we want to break this. Make sure there's no egg, uh, no blood in it. Second cookie, the butter. Means a second egg. Vanilla. Mix this together. And here it goes. Here we are. I have to get some of this out. So I'm going to do a mixture of chips. Why not? Here's, I like the big ones. Some people like the small ones. And then somebody really likes thick. So we're going to do two cups of this. But as I said, it's not very sweet. 
I don't like sweet. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so now, now this is where I get really sticky. But look at how easy it is to get rid of. That's the problem with these things up. Don't worry, I wash my hands. Okay. So, and these won't look exactly like chocolate chip, but they have the main ingredients. Who cares about the flour? Of course, this is very modern, but who isn't going to like chocolate chip brownies for... Uh, chocolate chip cookies for Passover. Everybody. Okay, so we're going to put them in the oven for about nine minutes. Oh, look at them. They look beautiful. Just beautiful. And I love the different shapes they're in. They're not perfect. Thank goodness. We're going to let them sit for a few minutes. This is a little crumbly. Mm. Delicious. Passover chocolate chip cookie, courtesy of the Shiovitzes of Briar Cliff Manor, New York. Bete Avon and Hag Sameach. Happy Passover. Mm -hmm.